I am Anil Kumar, extremely excited to share with you the mysteries of numbers discovered by Carbreaker. So here is another magical number 495, which is amazing since it draws all three digit numbers to itself. We are going to follow Carbreaker's routine and show you how it is done. Kapreker was a school teacher. He wasn't a professor in any university. He used to cycle from a village to, a, to the next in 1900s and teach students mathematics. His passion for math brought him to limelight when the American scientists discovered him. Martin Gardner. He shared Kapreker's numbers over the world and then Kapreker's numbers got their own name and he discovered many numbers which we are going to reveal in our book which is inspired by math mainly by our mathematicians. In one of our videos we have seen Kapreker's constant 6174 which works for four digit numbers and the same procedure, which is known after his name as Copernicus routine, also works for three digit numbers. So, we are going to see what happens when three digit numbers are taken. So, first, let's review what is this Copernicus routine. So, in this case, since we are taking three digit number, what you need to do is choose any three digit number, right? So, I love this number 276. So I'll start with 276, right? So, so that is a three digit number which I've taken. Important thing here is that not all digits the same, right? You cannot have two, 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 right? Great. Now, rearrange its digit to make biggest and smallest. So from these digits, can you tell me what could be the biggest digit? Well, 762 will be the biggest, right? Smallest will be? 267, right? So 267. So you notice if we reverse the order, the place value changes, right? The number in ones place comes to hundreds and hundreds place goes to ones. So we get the reverse order. Perfect. So in three digit numbers, you can see what a beautiful symmetry it is. Now the next step is to find the difference between the two numbers, right? Now subtract. So, when you subtract, what do you get? Well, you have to borrow from 6, you get 12 here, that is 5. And from 12, if I take away 7, you get 5. And 15 take away 6 will give me 9. This became 6 and I get 4. So, I've already got my number 495. Do you see that? Some of you will ask what happens when we move forward from here and that's why we'll check it out so 495 what is the greatest number you can make from 495 it is 954 right and reverse it which will be 459 take the difference so once you take the difference what do you get 14 take away 9 is 5 now this became 4 right and that became 14 so that becomes 8 and this becomes 14. 14 take away 5 is 9 and 8 take away 4 is 4. So once again, you land up with the same number. So once you land up with 495 and repeat this process, which is Copernicus routine, mainly meant for four digit numbers, but it can be applied to 3, 5, any number of digits, right? So when we apply, you see, any number you take, we land up with 495. Well, is it true? Let's take some other number and I love, I love you to, let's take some other number. I would like you to practice with me and just check how does it work out, right? So what number do you prefer? I'll take up 341 this time. Okay. So I'm taking 341. Okay. So from 341, I can make two numbers. One, the largest of this will be 431, right? And the smallest will be 134. Now let's take the difference. Well, when I subtract, borrow, then what happens? Well, when I borrow, this becomes 2, this becomes 11. And I have to borrow further. So let me just complete this part. 
Okay, great. So 11 take away 4 is 7. And 12 take away 3 is 9. And 3 take away 1 is 2. We get 297, right? Yet, we didn't get 495. Anyway, let's continue. So, so with some numbers, you may take six steps, right? Who knows? So, 297, the largest is 972. And the smallest will be 279, right? Great. So, once we get this, let's borrow, right? So, 12 take away 9 is 3. And this gives me 9 and 8 take away 2 is 6. Still, we did not get our number 495. Let's follow this method once again, right? Sometimes, as I said, you may have to repeat your process. Well, that's the fun of it, right? So, 963 is this next number and 369 is my number. Now, when I subtract, 13 take away 9 is actually equal to 4 right and this i get nine and here eight take away three is five so i did not get 495 but i got 594 so i need to continue this process with 594 right so now i'm moving this side so i get the number 954 and from this i'll subtract 459 and see what do i get well 14 take away 9 is indeed 5 and then 14 take away 5 is 9 and 8 take away 4 is 4. So ultimately I did get 495. Do you see that? So you can try with many numbers and see which numbers take the longest and which numbers take the shortest. It could be a competition between the friends. Working with numbers and discovering new patterns is what we learn from Kapraker, a mathematician who did not give you formulas, but who showed you techniques of finding and discovering mysteries hidden beneath these numbers. Follow our book and learn more. Enjoy the journey of learning. Here are learnings from Kapraker. We learned that some numbers don't just behave. They lead us somewhere. They settle like a pendulum. They repeat like a rhythm. They surprise like a riddle. Enjoy such numbers in our book, Inspired by Math, coming soon. Thank you.